Hey everybody, this is part two of a three-part series that I'm doing right now, sharing my favorite nurseries and plant shops in the Charlotte area in celebration of 40,000 subscribers on this amazing plant channel. The community that we have created is more than I could ever imagine. And again, huge thank you for your support over the last couple years as I've grown and learned about plants and you've enabled me to share my love of all things plants uh, with you all, which is absolutely amazing. You are the best. So thank you again. So I've already done part one. This is part two and there is going to be a part three. Now if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Ashley and as I said, I'm obsessed with all things houseplants and I share plant shopping videos, plant care videos. So if that sounds like it's interesting to you and brings a smile to your face, consider subscribing. That's the only way for my episodes to show up in your newsfeed. I'm also on Instagram and we have an awesome plant community on there that we would love for you to be part of. All right, so let's get started on part two of my favorite nurseries in the Charlotte area. Plant House is one of my favorite spots in Charlotte, in addition to loads of gorgeous plants, trendy planters, and decor. They also have beer and wine that you can enjoy while you shop. They have build your own terrariums, and as they approach the holiday season, they love to focus on their various workshops. They just started taking reservations and do private events as well. This staghorn fern is an example of an upcoming workshop where they will share how to mount plants. They get a shipment of plants in weekly, and their inventory is always changing. There's so much amazing stuff here. I can't wait to show you guys everything that they have. Um, there's a lot and I have quite a few places to visit in this episode. So I'm just gonna kind of point stuff out as I see it and do a brief overview. They have these really nice baskets of um, string of turtles and look at these Hoya Crimson Princess, so cute. And they have nice basket of Mykins. The Mykins are 35, Crimson Princess are 25, and then these are 45. Also, I'm obsessed with their planters here. They're, I just, this is like a great spot to come if you're looking for really trendy, modern, planters at a reasonable reasonable rate also a really cool spot for gifts i'm obsessed these little candles after they're burned would be great for um, putting little plants in look at this planter Ooh, that's a nice one what a pretty staghorn i mean the light's behind so it's kind of hard to see but it's really beautiful have some hoya macrophyllas here spider plants marantas look at these pretty begonias Wow, this one, this one's kind of different. Wow, look at this watermelon peperomia. It's huge, so beautiful. Prince of Orange, I mean, just always a great selection here. These planters, these little basket ones are cute. I love these, I have a couple of them and I use them all the time. Wow, that Monstera is beautiful. Ooh, the Scandapsis, yes. These hanging saucers are really nice. They're $25. The ceramic. Ooh. Ooh, they have continuous sprayers here. I highly recommend continuous sprayers um, if you spray your plants. And this is nice because it just like keeps spraying the whole time. Spider plants, cute little heart ferns. I think that looks like an enjoy. Ooh, they have some Hindu rope. Those compactas back there are probably six inch pots and they're 25. Ooh, they have some variegated marantas here. They're $15. That's a great find. Look at those pretty leaves. Large baskets of Hoya curtisii. They're $35. Skindapsis, ornatas. Cute little begonias. The planters are so nice. Can't stop looking at them. Pretty Crimson Queen here, 25. Marble Queen Pothos. Oh, look at these. I think they're a string of tears. Adorable. 
Brazil's so lovely always a wonderful assortment so much to look at looks like there's some Puba Calyx Hoya there Prince of Orange money trees Wow look at this Curtisii beautiful small little ponytail palms some really cute philodendrons skin daps is up there stag horns they have crocodile fern up here kind of tucked away in the corner lemon lime marantas they're 15 again some of those um, variegated marantas gorgeous fuzzy calathea just so many great plants and planters everywhere look at these begonias wow this is a beautiful cebu blue and it's 50. look at it trailing it's so happy and healthy lots of cute pothos little neon guy there Raphidophora, cute little carry eyes, lovely. Cute little Hoya Lenearis there. Look at these um, watering cans. I love them. Orbifolia, Peperomia. They have some little whale fin cuties up there. They're 45. Beautiful ZZs. Looks like a maiden hair fern. Just adorable. Calathea medallion. Aglionema here. Loads of really cute Tillandsias here. And I like these little pots that they have as well. Wonderful assortment. Loads of good stuff here. Oh my gosh. First of all, they have a lot of Plumosa cactus, which is one of my all time favorites. It's these guys. And they're so, um, they're so fuzzy. They look like little snowballs. Look at that guy! I love him! All sorts of cute little cacti. Some dominoes down there. Gorgeous terrarium plants. Wow, look at these golden pothos, they're so beautiful. I have a load of these Cebu blues. Lovely. Gosh, so many beautiful plants here. It's nice to come visit, it's been a while. The place is amazing. And just like fun, cool vibes here. Some more micans and some philodendron imperial reds here. Black Hawk Garden Center is a must-visit spot for houseplants, planters, and cute plant decor. I love the boutique feel and quality selection. I'm always surprised at what I can find. As you can see, they have so many plants. I'm so excited. They have a beautiful Alocasia stingray here. There are, they are $23. Look at them. Oh my gosh. As you can see, they have the little stingray shape. Such a cool plant. Some gorgeous um, African violets here. So vibrant. And I can't get over this really pretty cactus. Look at this rabbit foot fern. It's so fuzzy, 23, really big one. So many great philodendrons here. 
Monstera and Sonia over there. We have some Birkins and Xanadu. And some Mykins. Brazils. Here's some Raphidophora tetraspermas as well. These Raphidophoras are 18. Look at this beauty. It is 76. It's massive. Look at that red leaf. <gasps> Ooh. Gorgeous Xanadu's here. They're 40. They have this really cool philodendron here called Philodendron Maloney. I have not seen it before, but the leaves on it are massive and it even has some modeling as you can see here. Really, really neat. Look at the size of this big leaf. Wow. <laughs> They're 28. I just can't get over that. So cool. They have these beautiful Cebu blues on these poles and the leaves are fenestrating. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. They're 179. Just massive. I mean, the amount of time it takes to get that, to that size. Gorgeous. The leaves are so silvery. I can't stop staring at them. Some skin daps is here. 899. Um, this looks like a maybe like a silvery Anne or something. Then over here we have Exotica, some beautiful Pothos mixed in here. Wow, look at this leaf. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. $8.99. Look at that. Gorgeous. Big, huge Pothos here on the plank. Neon Pothos. Here's another um, Cebu Blue. Look at that fenestration already. Awesome. I'm actually really feeling this plant stand with the three planters in it. It's 139. It's really nice. Really cute Hoya Crimson, or yeah, Crimson Queen. Black Pagoda lipstick plants here. They're 15. I love these Black Pagoda lipstick plants because of the kind of coloration on the leaves is so unique. They also have some Golden Goddess here, $9.99. They have some beautiful Alocasia Hilo Beauties, $17.99. Look at the size of these. Ah. They have Dragon Tooth Alocasia. They have Alocasia Sarian as well. Look at those leaves. Lots of really cool Hoyas. Um, looks like Puba Calyx, Pachi Clara. What else do we have here? Looks like an Australis back there, Crimson Princess, Hindu Rope, Crimson Queen down there. Loads of ficus, fiddle leaf here. Rubber tree, Teneke. Just lovely. Some Audrey. Wow, look at this stingray. What a cool guy. They have some of these interesting lipstick plants. I think it's Rasta. Um, I think this is a Rasta lipstick plant with the like curly stuff. It might just be a curly lipstick plant. I'm not sure, but it has the little like tiny leaves. Look at that little staghorn down there. Waffle plant, Syngonium. This one's pretty, maybe a berry illusion or something with the dark leaves. They have loads of neat pottery. Oh, I like that one. My Gloriosum would like that planter because it wants to crawl. It's like busting out of its pot right now, but I'm trying to find the right thing to plant it in. Oh, look at this Rex Begonia. Absolutely beautiful. Bromeliad. Have some flying squid. Another really pretty Rex Begonia. Some Syngonium and Pothos. Begonias. I love it. Little bonsai. Some more of this awesome Philodendron Maloney. Golden Goddess, I think. Calatheas.
We have some nice Cebus here, 22. All sorts of great succulents. I mean, we still have all the way over there to explore. But while I'm over in this section, I kind of wanted to see what I could find. Wow, oh, I think these are the um, Lifesaver cactus, maybe? Look at this. <gasps> wow. Cute little garden, lots of aloe, some Apuntia here. How cute is this little plant stand with the terracotta pots? Adorable. Whoa, this Homolonema Selby is looking mighty fine. Her leaves are velvety. She has this gorgeous white on the outside of the leaves. She has little like dark green spots. What a cutie pie. $23. What a nice plant. Zebra plants, so cute. Love those yellow flowers. Diffenbachia. I always forget the name of this kind, but it reminds me of bok choy. Aglonema. Lots of really cool pagoda li black pagoda lipstick plants. Just don't see them that often. Really cute peperomias hanging out over here. Let's see what I can find. I think this is serpents variegated. Then we have some watermelon peps. So pretty. They have um, three different types of ZZs. They have kind of the regular kind here, and then they have the raven ZZs, and then they also have the ZZs and Zs. Well, cute little dwarf ones. These little Sansevieria, these bird's nest ones, are so sweet. Isn't that lovely? They have a lot of yellow on them. $8.99. Really cute whale fin, 26. Adorable. Look at all these cute ferns. These are usually pet friendly. Lots of really cool ones, an assortment of bird's nest fern, kangaroo paw fern, crocodile fern, rabbit foot, just a whole assortment. Hurricane, lots of gray ones. Dracaenas, all over, cordyline. So pretty, look at that purpley. Polka dot plants over here. Lovely. Oh, look at those goldfish. They're so cute. Nice raffidophora. They have loads of pottery back here as well. So much great stuff. These are so cool. I'm obsessed. I would just have to, I guess I could stuff newspaper and then put a plant in it. <gasps> oh my God, how cool is that? I like the dark brown one too. They are 29. Oh my gosh, obsessed. These are really cute too. Pikes is definitely one of my top go-tos for all things plants. They always have a vast inventory of houseplants as well as outdoor plants. It's also important to note that they have everything you need from soil, plant care, pest management, gardening supplies, planters, and more. I love that they have multiple locations, 19 right now, and growing. All right, let's take a quick peek, see what I can find. <gasps> Look at these cute little kangaroo paws. No, wait, blue star fern. Ugh. Why do I always call them kangaroo? It's so funny. Calathea, they're, um, the fern is 16 and the Calathea is 20. Some really pretty Monstera, um, Philodendron there, some lots of Monstera adansonii, some Xanadu. Look at these really pretty Syngonium. Ah, oh, so lovely. Up here they have tons of Marble Queen and 
just some other pothos. Looks like a whole selection. Wow. Look at that uh, Rojo Congo 99. It's huge. Those leaves are massive. Um, cast iron plant. These are 60. Really pretty staghorn fern, like mounted ones. Massive Adansonii. Mine's growing like crazy, the one I got recently. Love it so much. We have some Brazils. And CZs. Oh my gosh, look at this Rex Begonia. Pikes does have, I mean, some of the best, like the biggest. Look at that. So lovely. Bromeliads, rubber trees. They have lots of string of, like string of watermelon, string of tears. Um, brom more bromeliads, crotons. Uh, these are midi, midi, oh gosh, I can never pronounce them, but they have the most beautiful flowers. Uh, Ficus Audrey's here. Altissima, Tenekes, the Tenekes are 20, the Altissimas are also 20. This bonsai is beautiful, wow. I've been considering getting one. So pretty. These Pilea peperomioides, they're 25. Some beautiful Anthurium, Aurelia. Aren't these nice? I have one of these plants over here. It's fantastic. These are beautiful. I love, love the coloration of these leaves. Rubber trees. Wow, look at these Syngonium. Let me show you how big these leaves are. Oh gosh. Look at that, it's a huge leaf. Beautiful. Lots of beautiful ferns. These little guys are around $7. Have some staghorns. They're seven. Some more ferns. Oh, we have some alocasia black velvets here. And they are $10. Probably the best price I've seen on these before. Some lemon lime philodendrons. Some more beautiful fern. Um, some snake plants. Here we have the uh, starfish ones. Watermelon peps, seven dollars. Great prices. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with these black velvets. Calatheas and birkins and ficus, kind of all mixed in together. Plumosas and some peperomias, some raphidophoras. I'm gonna show these raphidophoras because there's a lot of growth happening. They are 17. Then we have some cute little Hindi ropes. They're 10 for these little cuties. Some more peperomias and diffenbachias, fern. They have some jade over here and ponytail palms. Look at this gorgeous, either alocasia, colocasia, looks like alocasia. Lots of cute little terrarium plants. Always can find some good stuff. Look how pretty this peperomia is. I bet if you gave that a lot of light, it would turn a nice pink color. These golden barrel guys, so cute pencil cactus over here. Lots of gorgeous succulents. These are the ones like I'm trying to bring them back. I know you can find them anywhere, but I just think they are the cutest. Look at these back here. They're so adorable. <laughs> oh. I just want to have a whole little garden of all those cute ones. Dang, look at that. Um, I'm Sony Eye over there. I'll have to take a look when I pass it.
Whoa, somebody come get this jungle boogie. It's $35 on special. It's massive. Look at the size of these leaves. Oh, it is, look at this one. Oh, somebody has to come get this plant. It's amazing. All that new growth. What a gorgeous, that's the prettiest jungle boogie I've ever seen. With a little TLC that could be like, oh, they have a couple of them. And they're both on special. This is like their clearance section. It looks like they have a lot. They're probably trying to get rid of some stuff since you're coming into fall and winter. Cute little Monstera 70. They have it on a plank, that's nice. Some big old Monstera. This is the Adansonia I was wanting to take a look at. That lovely. I love how big these leaves can get given the opportunity. We have Raphidophora here. Whoa, so big. Oh, some cool stuff over here. Looks like this is their philodendron section. It's nice how they do that. Like they have it kind of in sections. This one is really lovely. Macaulay's Finale, it's 50 and look how huge these are. The color on those leaves are so gorgeous. We have Xanadu. Some big old Birkins, some Rojo. Wow. So many gorgeous babies. Moonshine. Um, they always have a really nice assortment of snake plants here. Got some little ZZs. Wow, look at these Agliomenemas. Oh, they're so vibrant. They always have a lot of really gorgeous Calatheas here and ones that you can't necessarily find everywhere, you know? Uh, $20. I'd say North Carolina is one of the few places that you could probably grow a Calathea well, besides maybe Florida where you just have humidity year round. Winter time's a little difficult. Um, as long as you're not an underwaterer, and you can get the right type of water. These can do these can do well here, especially certain varieties. Um, really lovely. I love this one little orbifolia left here. So pretty. Peace lilies. They also have aglaonemas all over the place, which I mean this is a great plant for for anywhere. Pothos. Keep seeing the planters where they have them like this and hoping that that's one planter because I love the way that looks. Like, wouldn't that be cool? I wish there were more planters like that. Like where it was just one instead of two on top of each other. Like look how cool that would be. Ooh, they have some really cute baskets in here. Kind of exploring. That one's nice as well. Thrifting in Ikea though, there's a, like the two spots for baskets that aren't expensive, but some of these are really pretty. Look at that one down there. I like these up here too. I always enjoy taking a peek at their terrarium plants. Sometimes it's surprising what you can find. You know, Hoyas or interesting syngoniums or begonias um yeah they always have interesting stuff like look at this interesting peperomia they have here so cute and then they have tons of uh, tillandsias so lovely if you're looking for african violets they usually keep them inside and they're really healthy looking and don't forget if you come here to look at their orchids they have they're my favorite place in charlotte for orchids i'd say and they don't have a lot of selection but the ones they do like they do carry some of these orchids that you just don't see around that much like look how pretty they are i mean if you're looking 
for different orchids than the ones you see all the time. Like this is where, where you can find them. Look at them. They're so pretty. Look at this one. So dainty. And then over here you have your, you know, the ones that you can find usually like Home Depot and Lowe's. But they always have a section at each one of the pikes in this area, like, like this one that has unique, like a little bit different type of orchids. Twigs and Figs is a new family-owned houseplant shop and creative space in the Ballantyne area of Charlotte. They're excited to share their passion with the Charlotte community. They mention that equity and inclusivity are critical to Twigs and Figs, and their shop is a space where folks of all identities, backgrounds, and experiences are celebrated. Oh, look how cute! They have Halloween stuff! Oh my gosh, I love it! Look at this beautiful Rex begonia. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Wow. Lots of great stuff. Loads of great plants. Like I'm always super impressed um, when I come here. Cute little fiddles. Little Raven ZZ hanging out here. Whoa, so many great plants some calatheas. I am feeling this cactus. Yes. Um. I like this guy. Kind of fun. They have a uh, ficus triangularis and just lots of nice options here. Again, quick overview because this uh, video is going to be really, really long otherwise. Look at these Marantas. So pretty. They have Calatheas. Lots of nice pottery. They have some Raphidophoras here and Cebu Blues. Oh, cute. And Sony Eyes. Um, oh, they have Decursivas up here. and some Hoyas. Wow, look at this beautiful philodendron. <laughs> I love it. God, this um, fiddle leaf is gorgeous. So lush. So, so lush. Little Rex begonias. I think this one's so pretty with the green and the pink. And it's so swirly. Lots of great gift stuff. And uh, it always smells amazing in here because of the candles. Oh my gosh, look at these socks. They have little Monstera ones. So cute. Beautiful Cebu blue. Wow, look at this um, a fish, a fish tail, fish tail palm, I think it's called. As you can see, the leaves look like fish tail. They really have some nice Rex begonias here today. I mean, huge and beautiful. Um, just stunning. Cute little peperomia and pubicalyx. Adorable. They have some um, Calathea zebrinas as well. Lots of snake plants. They have a really cute alocasia section. Um, this one looks like Bambino, but large size ones. You usually only see small small Bambinos around. Like here's some small ones. Um, so I'm not sure what those are. I like the length of the leaves. Wow, this is really pretty. The leaves are almost black. Gorgeous.
They also have where you can make your own terrarium. Really neat. All right, like I said, this is only part two. Part three is still coming because there are still some amazing places I have yet to show you. Now, this is typically where I do the haul portion and I do have a haul. I did not pick up any plants this time, but I did pick out a few planters. Now, I am obsessed with this one. I'm really into the whole like, uh, two part planters right now. I'm not sure why, but this one's really cool. And as you can see here, now I typically, as most of you know, I like to ha use a cash pot that I put a nursery pot into. It helps with bottom watering and that kind of thing, which saves me time. So I got this one and I also picked out this one. Both of these are from Plant House. Such, such a cool shop. Again, you see, I like the ones that are a little bit elevated and, and kind of have two parts to it. So I thought this one was fabulous as well. Just a simple white planter. And as I was editing this video, I actually saw quite a few more planters that I think I might go and pick up from Plant House. All right, that's it for this episode. I'm still planning to hit up a few more spots on the next one. So keep an eye out for that. If you'd like to see part one, I'll include it here and also in my description below for you guys. Now, if you'd like to see future episodes showing up in your news feed, subscribing is the way to get that done. And make sure to join our Instagram plant community. I've included all my Instagram information here. All right. I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of the day. You'll definitely be seeing me soon. Bye.